You guys all know him. You love him. You know his personality. You know his style. Yes. And it's uh, it speaks <laughs> enough. Somebody so if you will, please introduce please. our next guest. Please welcome everybody. Put your hands together for Mr. Clyde Frazier. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad all you guys came out, and I'm sure Mello is going to put on a show for you today. Yeah. So, Mr. Frazier, it's always a pleasure speaking to you. I know I see you a bunch of times throughout the year. Every time it's my pleasure to see you and speak to you. So, given that it is Noche Latina right here at Madison Square Garden, this is the Fan Festival presented by Sprite. Are you enjoying everything that's been going on? Have you had a chance to get over to the sport court? Did you get to the food trucks? Are you just enjoying the atmosphere right now? Oh yeah, you know, I've seen this before because I do a lot of the Nick camps. Right. So it's a similar scenario where we have the basketballs and interacting with the fans. Last time we were down in Harold Square, okay. down in Macy's, so this is one of the joys that I get, guys, meeting you guys, saying hello. Thank you for your support. and. Uh, Hopefully the Knicks uh, with Phil Jackson now, we're going to turn it around and get another championship. Hey, so wait, 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 wait. We're going we're gonna to get to that because I knew you wanted to jump to that. But my co-host, Marisol, being into fashion of herself, course. she has a, some, some important questions to ask you We always you have to talk about clothes when it comes to you. How do you choose your outfits? You wake up one day and you say, okay, I'm going to wear this. How do you choose them? No, like everything else, it's a lot of work involved. Of course. I see that. <laughs> I'm my own stylist. Oh, okay. So I select my own fabrics. Today I selected this suit because I knew you guys would have me outside. I needed a little something, something heavy. warm. So I got the cashmere on. But I like to, to mix unusual colors. Today I got the pink on with the green and the tan. I got the... Uh, Cayman boots on. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see this in the back, but he just said Cayman boots. He didn't say gator or snakeskin. He said Cayman boots. I can't, I can't touch that. I thought I was clearing my Jordans on, but oh, oh. Oh, he's oh, whipping out the belt. Oh. That, that's a, there's a reason why you were the first NBA player on a fashion magazine. You're like an NBA fashion icon. Hey, man, we're in New York, man. <laughs> <laughs> We set, we set the style, so everywhere we go, we're styling. And he definitely sets the style. He's always styling, that's right. Is there any kind of Latin influence on any of your outfits anytime? I know you're a traveling man, like you said, you're in New York, so you're amongst so many, many different heritages, but are there any kind of Latin influence on your outfits whenever you pick them? Yeah, well, I think the colors. Right. So the Latin people like to wear very provocative colors. <laughs> Because of the islands, you know, when I used to go to Puerto Rico, I used to see all the big colors. And see all the so now that you mentioned so there's a lot of history there with Phil Jackson. Uh, we know about his 11 championship rings. He also won two with the Knicks. So as you alluded to, he's already brought a lot of credibility to the Knicks, and I think he's going to be able to attract other players and get them to come here and not only attract players, but make the Knicks a winning team like we were back in the 1970s. So, lastly, tonight we play the Cleveland Cavaliers, like I said, going into our hopeful ninth game in this winning streak. What do you think are some of the pieces of basketball advice that you have for them to continue to push on to this winning streak and hopefully chase down Atlanta for this uh, last place in the, in the playoff run? Well, they just have to remain confident and uh, as they say, one game at a time. You know, it's almost a uh, mission impossible to try to get in the playoffs when you look at our record, but mathematically, we're still in it. The Hawks are choking. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> so the Cavaliers all beat up today, a lot of their players out. So I would say to the Knicks, they can't become overconfident. They've, they've just got to come out, play their game. Like I say, Melo's getting help now from Amari, JR. But the key has to be defense, guys. They've got to continue to play the hounding, pounding style of defense and let that be their best offense. So uh, I think the Knicks will prevail again tonight for their ninth win as well. Yeah! That's right. So I think on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to let Mr. Walt Clyde Frazier get out of here. So one more time, big round of applause for the legend, Mr. Clyde Frazier. Thank you. Thank you for 
bringing the flavor here today.